Well, hey guys, glad to have you here with me. Wanted to go ahead and break open the Bible and take a look at it and talk about a hard subject today. Get some, some wisdom for life that frankly I think we can all use. Because what I'm going to talk about today is a hard subject that I guarantee that in some way or another we've all wrestled with it. So I want to take a look at Ecclesiastes chapter 3. I'm going to be looking at verses 16 and 17. I also noticed that under the sun there is evil in the courtroom. Yes, even the courts of law are corrupt. I said to myself, in due season, God will judge everyone, both good and bad, for all their deeds. Guys, it's, it's no surprise. We live in an imperfect world. We live in a world that is so imperfect, in fact, that injustice happens. Sometimes it's the little things like someone cutting in front of you in line. Sometimes it's grandiose, huge injustices like the Holocaust against the Jews back in World War II. But the point is, whether it's either one, it happens. We live in an imperfect world filled with imperfect people, and some of us are so imperfect that in fact we've twisted to the point of becoming evil. Some of us have been on the receiving end of that injustice. Well, let's face it, all of us have in some capacity or another. Some more than others, for sure. And guys, I'm here to give you something that will help you if you let it. Because honestly, you take a look at this, and yes, it absolutely goes in there and acknowledges, says, yes, even the courts of law are corrupt. But it gives us a key phrase here that is really the key to unlocking the book of Ecclesiastes. This phrase, under the sun. Guys, we live under the sun. We live in the world, and we see what it's made of, and we experience injustice, and we experience good moments, and we experience anything in between. But the point is, is that everything we experience, everything we affect, everything we do is, quote-unquote, under the sun. But there's one thing that's not. One person that's not. That's God himself. God is outside of the human experience. He knows what's going on. I mean, he's everywhere. He sees it all. He sees every injustice. He knows it. He feels every pain. He cries along with every person with every tear. He knows it. And so... What he's saying to us right here is just like it says here at the end of it. It says, in due season, God will judge everyone, both good and bad, for all their deeds. So what we need to do is we need to trust God with this. That's going to look in different ways. Sometimes it means just handing things over to him in prayer. Guys, and that's hard. Giving over our injustices to God, whom honestly... We have a hard time doing that because we can't see him. And oftentimes we don't get to see his justice come down on the person that we think they deserve. Sometimes justice isn't what we think it is. Sometimes God does it a different way and a different time that we'll never know about. But the point is, God is absolutely, in every single case, trustworthy in this. So I don't want you to go around and try vigilantism, okay? I mean, obviously, on the grant, none of us are that bad. We're, we're not going to go around doing that sort of thing. But we get it into our head that, to do the small things. And I'm just saying hand it over to God. There's cases of bigger injustice where something's wrong with the system and we've got to do something. But I just want to encourage you always, go to God for guidance. He will tell you what to do, what the right thing to do is in every single situation. And even when it seems counterintuitive, follow his lead. What he tells you to do, do. Trust him. He's trustworthy, I promise. So guys, that's really what I had for you this time. And I just want to encourage you, trust God with justice. I love you, and I will see you next time. Bye.